Welcome to this episode of Ask the Guitar Coach, the only podcast where you get answers to all your guitar-related questions. If you're interested in developing your guitar skills and reaching your music goals, please send me an email at the email address ioannis at ioannis.org. That is I-O-A-N-N-I-S at I-O-A-N-N-I-S dot org so that I can let you know about all the different packages of Elite Guitar Coaching and how you can get private coaching by me. Without further ado, let's go to our question for the day. How can I have a stable and secure music career as a guitar player? So this is a really good question going much more into the music business territory. We have someone who is asking how can he have a stable and secure music career as a musician, specifically as a guitar player. Now traditionally, playing music, being a musician, is not something that has been considered to be very uh, conducive to having a stable and secure career. So it's not the same thing as having a 9 to 5 job that you know every month you will get specific amount of money, you will get your salary, you will get your benefits. It's not exactly like that. But this does not have to be uh, the case. There are many ways that you can have a very secure music career. So let's see. So it is something that is doable. It's just not the most simple thing to implement. It's just, just like, like sending a resume and getting a job and then you're all done. You just have to do your job every day. It's a little bit more convoluted, a little bit more complex. Basically, you need to find a way to create lots of musical uh, streams of income. So streams of income that come through your music. Your music doesn't have to be music that you write, but uh, I don't want to get ahead of myself. So let's get started and see how this can be done. The first thing you should do is get started teaching music. If you're just considering a music career, you should definitely base part of it on teaching. Each of the students is a separate source of income that's almost related to the rest of the students and the rest of your income streams, streams. so it's a really good idea to have a strong base in teaching. So if you're still young and you're just uh, starting out to figure out what you're going to do with music, start getting some experience and also some training on your teaching skills because it's really going to help. Now moving on to performing. Performing live can be very easily a second stream of income. It's kind of difficult to make it a full-time income because you would basically need to perform either at a very high level to be very well paid or perform every night, but it's perfectly fine to be a supplementary stream of income. Rock bands, top 40 bands, and even in some cases, even your own original music, but that's much more rare. You have to be clear about that. So all of those things can be used to create a supplementary income. So in order to be able to do that, you need to develop your playing skills, obviously, since you're going to be playing live, and also uh, create a nice repertoire for the band, create a band, get all these things sorted out, and then you can have another income stream through your live performances. Moving on to source of income number three, that would be studio recording. Now this can go into two categories. One is that you can be a hired gun, like a really good guitar player that people hire to get to play for their recordings. This is really fun to do, but it's very difficult and there's a lot of competition for that, for various reasons. So if you're a really good player and you're going to go this route, that's perfectly fine and it can give you a good income. It's not very predictable unless you, are, you become one of the top studio pros, but it's gonna be a good income. The second solution on the same, again, recording uh, phase and uh, studio of creating your income streams is to be a producer slash recording engineer for someone else. So basically what you could do is two or three times a week, have people come over to your home studio and you record them and then you get paid for this whole thing. This has a very good advantages 
some very good advantages, one of them being that now your audience is not just guitar players but all instrumentalists because all different instruments want to be recorded and want to be made to sound good. So if you have like a bass player, he will want to come to you and record himself and you make him sound even better probably than what he really is. And then if you're also playing guitar, you can also play guitar in the recordings of uh, bass players or, or other uh, keyboard players, so that's definitely a plus. So that's a good income stream and you can like uh, put it here and there everywhere and have some extra hours of work. Now there are other smaller, I would say, teaching options like recording and selling CDs. This was much more prevalent like a decade ago than it is right now, but there are some people still making some money out of selling their own music. Um, writing books, writing instructional books, I know that for a fact because I write instructional books, I've written like several, probably six of them so far and still continue writing, so they are also part of the income that you're gonna have. Uh, recording instructional materials and then releasing them in uh, various uh, formats like DVDs or online schools and things like that, these are also some extra supplementary income. So what would a week look like for a musician, like an ideal week for the things I'm describing now? And here's where I want you to pay attention. So let's, let's suppose that uh, you're, you're working like six days a week. It's gonna be more than five days that most people that have a nine to five job work, but it's gonna be fewer, fewer hours per day, most probably. So, two days per week, let's say Monday and Wednesday, you're gonna be doing your teaching. This is gonna be done from late after, from early afternoon onwards for a few hours. So let's say from like three in the afternoon until eight in the evening. And that's gonna be for two times per week. Then you're gonna have one or two performances per week and these are only for the late evening. It will probably be Friday and Saturday. Then for the rest of the days you can slot in some recording sessions if you're taking the producer slash recording engineer route. And so this way you would have a schedule that would be and once again I'm generalizing Monday teaching, Tuesday recording, Wednesday teaching, Thursday recording, Friday and Saturday playing live for a few hours. Now, once you put all these things together, they can create a pretty good income and very secure, much more secure than having a job, a nine to five job, because there's much less risk because you're not um, only depending on one source of income, there are several sources of income. So if something goes wrong, with one source, you have all the rest of them to, rely, to rely on while someone who is an employee at a business or at a, has a job as an employee, if he loses this job, immediately his income goes from 100% to zero. So having a stable and secure career as a professional guitar player slash musician is something that is doable. It's just a little bit more uh, challenging, let's say, than being a regular nine to five employee. But it's something that it can be done. And to tell you the truth, we've barely like scratched the surface. There are other people that uh, also, apart from the stuff we talked about, they also shoot video clips, they create sound design. There are many, many little things that uh, more that you can do in the specific field. So you're always, you're always surrounded by music. You're always working in the music. You're not always playing your music and creating something new that is your composition and, it, and it's your way of expressing your art, but you're always working in the music. So once again, if you ask me, is it possible? Yes. Would I say, is it easy? Um, it's not very simple. I don't think it's very difficult, but it's not very simple. You do have to get rid of the idea that you're just going to send a resume and you're going to have employment for the rest of your life. So there you have it. I hope this was helpful and I will see you on the next episode of Us The Guitar Coach. Until then, keep on shredding and keep those questions coming. Bye bye.